Good morning, New Mexico. I'll tell you. Have you all looked around? Look at your brothers and sisters standing right next to you. You feel the energy? You feel the love? Feel that mutual respect and the example that we need to stand from sea to shining sea and it starts right here in our beautiful city of faith. With all that's happening around the world, the mistreatment of people, the abuse of women, it's what's happening right here on our American soil. Children being ripped apart from their moms. Moms and young children being put in holding cells, being told to sit on concrete floors with one shared bathroom to use. Not anymore. And it starts with each and every one of you. I have a debt of gratitude to each and every one of you. Two years ago, one woman posted on social media to her friend, Sandra Shook, and she said, why don't we get together in March? And she sent it out to a few of her friends. She went to bed and woke up the next morning. Over 10,000 people responded. And you know the rest of the story. Millions of people gathered, not just in our nation's capital, but in small towns and small cities across America and around the world. We know which had the larger crowd that day. But you started something incredible. The pundit said, well, I don't know if that women's march can continue maybe a week, maybe a month. You gathered in town halls across America. You faced those folks that wouldn't face you. You held town halls. You put those chairs out and you said, you're going to hear us loud and clear because you've been ignoring us for far too long. Then we came a year later and everyone said, well, I don't know if anyone's going to show up. And at the first annual Women's March, there were records being broken in small towns and small cities beyond the inaugural Women's March. And the energy continued because there was a decision made that we're going to take this activism and organizing, we're going to take it right to the ballot box. And we partnered up, didn't we? I had the honor of chairing the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee where we were trying to elect more Democratic members to the U.S. House of Representatives. We helped elect 63 new members as Democrats and we won the U.S. House back. We won the majority back. We took our democracy back. Now of those 63 new members, 35 of them were women. You heard from Stephanie, we have the most women ever serving in the U.S. House of Representatives than ever in our nation's history. Yeah. And it's just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Now we need your help. Right now the government's shut down. We need your help to build public sentiment so that this president does the right thing. How about Nancy Pelosi? I'll tell you this, the president has met his match. One of the most incredible and influential leaders in the world in our history books and one of the most incredible women that I will ever know. She's influencing everything that she does and she understands the magnitude of this moment and with the help of the American people, we will be able to get the government back and open up and make sure that we get done what we promised we would. Lower the cost of health care that's negatively impacting women and their families across America. Lower the cost of prescription drugs that are negatively impacting women and the families across America. And how about cleaning up Washington, D.C.? Restoring our Voting Rights Act making sure as we work with our indigenous brothers and sisters. And by the way, thank you for electing Deb Holland to the U.S. House of Representatives. We will work to protect Native American Voting Rights Act, but the work has just begun. 
the energy that you are feeling and the success we had over the last two years, let's not get complacent because it turns out that there's an election for the presidency of the United States of America just around the corner, New Mexico. So you're ready to get to work and stay fired up and make sure we get the job done? It's an honor to serve as your U.S. representative. Thank you for giving me the hope and the inspiration. Do not forget the obligation that we have. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives, and let's lead in that fashion. Yes. Now, I have the distinct honor. I'm now introducing someone that's been a mentor of mine. She's been influential in New Mexico. Girls Inc., who was instrumental today, Jill, has been so focused in making sure that young women have access to every opportunity in America, that they're breaking whatever glass ceiling that people pretend to exist, because we will shatter each and every one. We will make sure that we understand the magnitude of what must be done. Yeah. You all know her, and I want you to put your hands together